Today is Wednesday, 9th of August, 2023, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Right Wiseness and the Judgments of God. Our opening scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30, and it says, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Hallelujah. In our previous study, we referenced right standing as one of the attributes of righteousness. Pastor begins. Today, we'll be considering another attribute of righteousness called right wiseness. Right wiseness is not a term that's often used in everyday communication, but it's an important element of righteousness. Right wise means to be right walked or towards the right. This, however, is not talking about the physical position of being towards the right-hand side. It refers instead to rightness, the ability to always be and do right in the presence of a holy God. Hallelujah! Oh, remember, righteousness is God's nature, His character, ability, and attribute of being right and perfect. How He thinks, what He says, And what he does is always right because he is God and he could never be wrong. Glory to God. This quality of the rightness of God is captured in the old English term right-wiseness. God alone knows what's right. When he imparts his righteousness to your spirit, you also begin to know what's right just like him. And you are given the ability to do it. The judgments of God from thence are wrought in your spirit. What do I mean by the judgments of God? This has to do with how God perceives and judges things, how he sees things and what he thinks about them. Now, because of his nature in you, Pastor says, you now carry the judgments of God in your spirit. You have his opinions and know his will. Glory to God. Oh, the prophet Isaiah, speaking about the Christ, said in Isaiah 11, 3-4, He shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. Wow! This means he would not judge according to his senses, but by the Spirit. It's the same with you now that Christ has been made unto you righteousness. Pastor says, His right wiseness and His judgments are in your spirit. You judge by the Spirit. Oh, hallelujah! Pastor concludes, Oh, dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. Oh, realistic confession, now meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, I'm the unveiling of the Father's righteousness. His right wiseness and sound judgments are heard in me, seen in me, and dispensed through me. I judge by the Spirit in righteousness and reprove with equity because I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. All right, for further study, please read 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30 of the Amplified Classic, Romans 5 verse 1 of the Amplified Classic, and then Romans 8 verse 30 of the Amplified Classic says, And those whom he thus foreordained, he also called. And those whom he called... If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, If you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth 
Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.